What's going on everybody, it's Buddy here. Today we're going to be replacing a radiator here in our Chevy vehicle. Now the vehicle we're working on is a 2001 Chevy Blazer, but this is not going to be specific for just a Blazer. And I'm talking Tahoe, Suburban, Silverado, S10, Equinox, and even some of the cars like a Malibu, Camaro, Impala. All Chevy radiators are essentially the same. There's going to be minor differences between newer and older cars as well, but this video is going to cover everything so that by the end of this video, you're definitely going to be confident enough that you're going to be able to do it by yourself so let's jump right into it all right so we got one two three ten millimeter bolts holding in our fan shroud and then we're gonna have two bolts on each side coming through here well we're missing one we got one there and then we got two there Then we should be able to pull this right out. And now it's time to go under the car. Right here by our front right tire. We're going to have this little lever. If you twist it, you'll see. It'll start to drain the radiator fluid. So we're going to get a catch pan. Throw our catch pan under. And turn the lever. To speed up the process, be sure to open the cap. So now that we're all drip dry, we're going to close this valve. We're going to remove our first hose clamp here on the radiator. Now right under the radiator hose we removed, there's going to be your oil cooler line here. We're going to be removing that next. Now you're also going to have your return line for your oil cooler right there. What you're going to need to do is pull the bottom of your fan cover off to the side, pick your radiator up a little bit, and give you some room to fit a wrench in there. Now that we've got those undone, we're going to move over to the left side of our radiator, and we're going to have our transmission cooler here on this side, another hose clamp behind it, and then a return line for our transmission cooler as well. And we're going to start here by removing our transmission cooler line. And right under that line, we have our hose clamp down here. Pull this guy up so you don't drip out any unnecessary fluids. And last thing to remove, we're gonna have our transmission cooler return line right there. So same thing, take a wrench. And then you pull your radiator straight out. And also be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you're finding the video helpful. So I will be putting the old radiator back in. Now the main reason I pulled it is to put a new condenser in. You can see the old condenser is right there. Now also I will have a video on how to change your condenser. I also changed the evaporator in this vehicle. So in the comment section, if you have any questions on how to change your evaporator, I know it's a very, very common problem for this evaporator leak in these Chevy trucks. So you can leave a question here in the comment section. I'll be sure to get right to it. So I'm not going to be putting a new radiator in, but it's going to be the exact same principle. The only thing that it's going to be different is you're going to obviously take your cap. Uh, if your new radiator doesn't come with your little drain valve, you're going to do that. Also, any fittings you need to take off, just be sure that you double check before you slide the new one in there. So let's get right into it. You want to make sure that you don't bend any metal lines, like your oil cooler and transmission cooler lines. So we're going to start out with this transmission line right here, and then we're going to move up to this coolant hose right here. And then we're going to come all the way up with our second transmission line right here. Now you definitely want to push your fan cover here out of the way. Give you enough room to crank down your transmission line. 
Now we're going to take our coolant hose we have tucked away here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the coolant hose to the side. I'm going to take my locking pliers here with this hose clamp. Put my hose back on. Unlock my locking pliers. And we are in. We have our last line to connect here. Pull these out of the way for you. And we're going to hook up our last transmission line to the transmission cooler. And don't forget your overflow line here. Now that's going to wrap everything up on the right side. It's time to move over to the left side. Now again, we're going to be doing the same thing here. We're going to start with this bottom hose, and then we're going to work our way up to this one here. And then once we get those two, we're hooking up our coolant hose. And now the top line. And then we're going to hook up our coolant hose. And now we're going to take our fan cover, put it back on, and be sure when you bend these lines here to be careful because these are the AC lines. We just did AC work, so we don't want to create any leaks. Now we're going to secure our fan cover with these three 10 millimeter bolts. And then moving back down here, we do have two more bolts that secure the bottom of the fan cover to the top part. And this is on both sides. And the last thing to do is fill up your radiator put your cap back on. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please hit that little thumbs up button. It really helps me out more than you guys know. And also definitely consider subscribing. I put some videos here that are pretty cool that I'm hoping you guys will enjoy. So check my channel out and see if it's something you'd like. Have a good one guys.